Hi all, in this video, I am going to discuss about Salesforce user interface basics. Let's start. So first, how to log into Salesforce, okay? Just navigate to this URL, login, login.salesforce.com, okay? Now here, what is the username and password we have to provide? So. Uh, in one of my video, I have clearly explained how to create a developer org. Okay, so if you have followed that video and created your own org, then you would be having your own username and password. You can provide that over here and you can log in. Or else, if you have been using Trailhead, in that also, like we will be creating playgrounds. Uh, to work on the hands-on activities. So if you have your playground credentials also, then you can log in here with those credentials as well, okay? With your dev or credentials or with your playground credentials, right? So here, I'm logging in with my playground credentials. I'm logging in with my uh, dev playground credentials. Click on login. Now, yeah, so as soon as you log in, See, uh, this is my dev org and uh, you will be navigated to the setup homepage. Okay. So here uh, we will just explore like what are all the tabs and all available. Okay. So here you can see right one icon. This is view profile. So if you will click on this icon, you can see my name and uh, my uh, URL and like a lot of this. So here you can see, let's switch to Salesforce Classic. So in Salesforce, we have two platforms. One is Classic and another one is lightning experience now here whatever you're seeing on my screen this is lightning here you can see right in the url it's lightning so this is lightning home page but if you want to switch to classic from lightning what you will do click on this icon and here switch to salesforce classic so yeah so this is salesforce classic okay i mean this is the older version of the salesforce so still like a few people have been using this also but now completely like a lot of projects have been using lightning experience only okay so this is salesforce classic okay so now if you are on salesforce classic and you want to switch to lightning experience how you will do it here you can see right switch to lightning experience so just click on this and yeah, you will be switched to lightning experience. Okay. Now directly actually service console is open for me, but yeah, let's explore. Next one is what here we have a setup, setup gear icon. If we will click on this, you can see like a lot of things see developer console. So like uh, this is a uh, very much useful for dev team actually like uh, here, they will be writing Apex code and all. So whenever, if you want to navigate to developer console, how you will navigate by clicking on this gear icon and developer console. Okay. And next is yeah uh, if you want to go to setup just click on this setup icon why we want to go to setup because here a lot of things are there actually like uh, if you will click on this object manager here you can see all the objects created in salesforce okay like all the standard objects custom objects like see account a lot of objects you can view over here uh, that's fine in the next video like uh, clearly i'll be discussing like what is mean by standard object and what is mean by custom object everything we will be discussing in detail okay so as of now just remember that if you want to view all the objects then you have to open the setup from the gear icon and click on the object manager okay now what is this six dots over here this is called as the app launcher so if you will click on this by using this app launcher click on view on you can navigate to different apps available in salesforce like for example i want to open sales okay sales console what i'll do just i'll search with sales see click on the sales and sales is open for us you can see right like sales opportunities lead so this is completely sales now i want to open service cloud okay what i'll do search with service so you can see right service just click on service and you will be navigated to the service console okay so this is the thing and yeah, uh, clearly in my uh, like other videos, I have explained like what is sales cloud and in sales console, what are all the important apps available like accounts, contacts, charter, leads, opportunities, everything I have discussed in that video. And in my another video also, I have clearly discussed about the service console as well mainly about this case management so i suggest you guys to go through my sales console and service console video also so that you guys can clearly understand the high level overview of this salesforce ui now 
this is all about the basics of salesforce user interface i hope you guys uh, find this video really helpful and thank you so much guys for watching this video